In this video, we will show you how to replace your upstream O2 sensor on this Ford Ranger. This will be accessed through your right front wheel well. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To gain access to the upstream O2 sensor, we're going to have to get behind the right front tire. With that said, safely raise and support the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Once you've done so, carefully remove your center cover and then all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts. After that, go ahead and remove the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off, to gain access to the O2 sensor, which is located in behind this area, we're going to dislodge the inside fender liner. You could try to reach up inside here, but you want to be extremely careful not to cut yourself. To dislodge this, you'll find that you have several 8mm headed bolts holding it in place. We'll inspect that mounting hardware as we remove it, replace it as necessary. Now this plating right here might be a little bit different on your vehicle. It looks like this is aftermarket. Now with that out of the way, we can remove this bolt down tucked behind where that was. Use a five and a half millimeter for this. You could continue dislodging this further, but we only need to go this far. Go ahead and take hold of that fender liner and carefully pull it away so you can gain access to that O2 sensor. There we are. With that out of the way, we have a clear view of our upstream O2 sensor and the wiring harness. We need to dislodge the wiring harness first. As for the wiring harness, continue on by squeezing in on the locking tab and carefully pull it out of place. Once you have that disconnected, give it a quick inspection for corrosion. You can use an angled pick for this if you need to, help you reach in there. At this point, we can continue on with our O2 sensor socket. Put it onto the O2 sensor, turn the O2 sensor counterclockwise, and carefully remove it from the vehicle. There we are. There it is, friend. The next thing we'll do is use some sandpaper and carefully clean and inspect the mounting point. You want to inspect the flat surface and the threaded area on the inside there. Okay friend, let's get ready to install our brand new upstream O2 sensor. Before you do so, pay attention to the threaded area. You want to confirm that you do have a little bit of anti-seize on the threaded area, but never on the sensing agent. Once you've done so, continue on to putting this into the exhaust pipe. We'll start it in by hand and bottom it out. After that, torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Careful not to twist that wire. You don't want to cause any damage to your brand new O2 sensor. Torqued. 
Once you've torqued that, let's continue on to our electrical connector. Go ahead and press it in, listen for a click, give it a little tug to make sure it's secured. After that, secure any wiring that might be hanging around. Press that in, listen for our click, give it a little tug, make sure it's secure. For this, you can use a wire tie, or if you happen to have a plastic bracket, you can also use that. Just make sure that the wiring cannot hang down and potentially get damaged on your exhaust when it gets hot. Now we can start getting this fender liner back in its proper placement. Make sure you slide it behind the fender so you can put in your five and a half millimeter mounting bolt. Now that we've done that, let's get our 8mm headed bolt up along the top. Now we can continue on with reinstalling our mud flap. We'll go ahead and start in all of our mounting bolts. Once we have them started, you can snug them up. We got them all started in. Let's snug them up. At this point, thoroughly inspect everything to confirm that it's reinstalled as needs to be. Install your wheel. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, well bottom them out, get the wheel safely back down on the ground, and then we can torque each of these to 100 foot pounds. With the wheel back on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. If you have a center cover, go ahead and install that now. When installing your center cover, have a look along the backside. You'll find that you have several holes that need to align with each of the lug nuts. Go ahead and lock it in. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Okay friend, we fully installed our upstream O2 sensor. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment, start up your vehicle, let it run for a little while. Make sure you have no check engine light and no running condition, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.